What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. I followed Chris Jones' line. It's Rick Singh. Not, not the boy, my boy, Chris Jones. And uh, yeah, walk into the gym. Ooh, it's May 1st. Welcome, May. Sunny, but kind of, kind of windy. Do I need this jacket on? No, don't really. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been suffering from a uh, <coughs> really bad cold, cough, mucus, phlegm, uh, runny nose, brutal. Feel a little better. Yes, it felt good today. I woke up <coughs> kind of sluggish. So. Had some good breakfast, oatmeal, had eggs, had coffee. So <coughs> it's almost digested by now. And the pre-workout, the today workout brought to you by, I'd say brought to you by, but what I'm probably taking is uh, this uh, bio, no, NutraBio pre-workout. Had this sample for a while in my bag from the Olympia Expo. So, I thought I would give it a try today. And of course, not the full package, just half. It's too much, too much, too much stimulants. You just need a little bit. People back in the day would take pre-workout and say, oh, don't take this one. It's a low dose or it's not as strong. Uh, this is stronger. Uh, oh, for this product, instead of taking one scoop, you take two scoops. And so, I already did all that. I've been there, done that with the pre-workouts. So I don't even need to take too much. Even if it's a weak pre-workout, I just take a little bit. Five grams, just with some water and just take it on just, just as a backup for, the, for, for my gym sessions. And what pushes me through the workout is just... Once I'm warmed up, I'm ready to go. With strength, you don't really need a pre-workout. Pre-workout mostly for uh, if you're doing a high volume, uh, then you need a pre-workout. But strength is strength. You don't need pre-workout for strength to lift a um, heavy object for a very low amount of reps. <clears throat> if you're doing back-to-back -back training, high volume, then intensity, then I'd say you probably need, uh, that's where the pre-workout's needed, but not for like uh, heavy lifting, because what I notice is it gets you so jittery up that you can't focus on the uh, um, compound lifts, especially on a leg day. You don't want to take a pre-workout on a leg day. I wouldn't advise it for those that do leg, uh, leg days. It's, even when I do uh, for squats, I don't think it's good because what it does with the nerves is just like your nerves are constantly like this and when you're doing something heavy you don't want your nerves like firing firing like this neurons and all that and tissue you know you want them to be very stiff and stable you want this um, type of movement where it's unstable because you're going to be unstable in your uh, movement pattern and your posture and um, your form so, so that's a tip that with the compound lifts, especially you could say example with the squat, it's pre-workout don't mix because the pre-workout is focused on um, focus and that pump. And when you're doing heavy lifting, power lifting, you're not you're not there for the pump chasing the pump. You're there just to push numbers, point push weight, push a number from point A to point B. So. That's my take on that. I'm going to get this workout in. I'll, we'll have a chit chat in the gym. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, one door's not opening. We're in here. Flex. Flex, flex, back and flex. Let's go. Let's kill it. Sir's retired today. So, just a coincidence that uh, I'm Brock Lester's jersey. 
PR Reps better. Let's wait. Wait for the next set.
just finished the gym. When I'm in the gym, I don't look at the time. I know that when I enter that gym, the next two hours, it's the world doesn't matter. That's the type of mentality you need if you want to get gains. I mean, you could do that 45 minute and I'm out four or five days a week and that, that's great. That's great, I, but I'm not that type of person at the moment. But uh, that is a good mentality to have. But also the killer mentality is to, um, if you've been away from the gym, is to when you do have time in the gym, it's just, um, just kill it. Nothing exists in the world, only you in that gym. That's how you have to look at it. And I've had that training philosophy for years and years. Years and years. Probably peak was probably 10 years ago. 11, 10, 11 years ago. And I was training in Vancouver and much younger and uh, wasn't married. Was going to school. Working part time. I had the time to really train hard. And it did help me in one way to stay away from the vices of life and um, keep stay away from uh, people that will get you in trouble. Because I know a lot of people ended up in that route where I see them in the gym, but they were working out for the wrong reasons. Training just to get that quick, nice look and try to live that lifestyle. But the bodybuilding lifestyle is not part of that party lifestyle. They don't get, they don't mix. A lot of people you see in the gym these days, they look like they're, they're the those party types of people that wanna get drunk on the weekend, do drugs, have six pack, have go to the pool party, be a bar star at the clubs and various other activities, illegal activities too, and uh, they include the um, uh, fitness is part of the lifestyle. It does not, it's a big misconception. <coughs> I've seen those types of people. And I don't see them around much anymore. For various reasons. But uh, I'm not trying to rat out here. But uh, your workout is your Zen moment. And right now I'm in that Zen moment. That once the training is done, you are just free of mind, and it's a good feeling. And I hope you have that feeling, and you you, um, you take that into value. So, video ends here now. See you later.